Welcome to the introduction of the Profiler 2. In this video, we will show you the basic functions of the Profiler 2. The principle of operation of the Profiler 2 is based on the 2D triangulation process. A laser light is projected as a laser line onto the object to be measured. The reflected light is projected onto the CMOS receiver element. This enables to detect the vertical position of the object. In order to detect the horizontal position of the object, the camera image is evaluated and transformed in the sensor, then visualized in the form of a generated profile on the built-in LCD screen or on a computer using the provided software. When you install the Profiler 2, make sure the measuring object is within the measuring range before fix the screws in place. You can choose between different adjustments. Use the operating elements on the sensor. Use RS485 communication to view and change all the settings of Profiler 2. Or use the setup software to view and change the settings. When the sensor head and computer are connected, click Connect to connect to the sensor head. If the connection fails, the message Failed to connect to Profiler 2 unit will be displayed. Close this window and select the USB port that is connected to the sensor head and check the board weight of the sensor. After you have established a connection between the sensor head and the software, you can see green and red flashing LEDs on the USB connector. Before set up anything in the camera setup, set the actual measurement target in place and do not move the target during adjustments in the camera setup. Click the Auto Adjust button to automatically set the shutter time. This function can only be used in the high resolution mode. For difficult surfaces or different colors in the measurement target, please refer to other camera modes which are described in the instruction guide. Click the refresh button to acquire the latest camera image. If the communication speed is slow, it may take time to acquire the image. A green bar shows the progress of image acquisition. The image is updated when the bar reaches the right end. The camera image is then displayed in the middle of the window. The received light waveform is shown on the right side at a specific position on the camera image. To expand or shrink the display, the loop symbols can be used. Click the Refresh button on the Profile window to update the screen to the latest profile. Click the Correct button to display the parameters related to position correction, height correction and tilt correction. These correct functions can be used when the target's position is shifted during the measurement. You can correct the position and height of the area. Set the reference height and width corresponding to the master image where correction will be performed. The area will be corrected by the amount of the height and width difference between the master image and the measured profile. Set the reference to a horizontal and vertical position that will definitely be crossed by the master image. If necessary, you can also use the tilt function, so the profile tilt will be corrected, so that the height correction reference position and the tilt correction reference position become level with each other. Don't forget to set up the correct method, which describes the order to use these corrections. Click on the register button to register a new master image when you finished the profile settings.
In the area setup, the measurement function and size for each area can be set up. Expand and shrink areas by dragging their corners and move areas by dragging them. Up to four areas can be set up for each profile. Select the measurement function from the list for each area. In our example we use the average function and the tilt function. Details on the different functions are explained in the instruction guide. Detailed items may be displayed according to the selected function. If you want to use the correct function, don't forget to choose on for each area. The measured values of the area whose checkboxes you selected in the operation window will be displayed on the graph. You can also select calc1 or calc2 with target and set the details of the calculation on the right side. In our example we can measure the difference between area 1 and area 2 and calculate the step. When choosing area 3, we can see the tilt angle of the profile in area 3. Profiler 2 offers three switching outputs, one analog current output and a serial communication interface RS485. The currently selected output is displayed in light blue in the output window. You can change settings by selecting and typing values for tolerances and out target for the three switching outputs and the analog output. Click on Send Param button to write the setting details to the Profiler 2. The same operation is performed as when you click Send Param in the upper left of the screen. You can refresh the measurement profile continuously or once by using the refresh buttons in the back to measure window. If you have a movement in the measurement, you can see the correct function working in this measurement window. On the top of this display, the sampling rate is shown with the current settings. This window also displays the measured results of the analog current output. The Profiler 2 offers a various field of applications. Profiler 2 can be used to check the heights and length of assembled PCBs in the electronic industry or for multiple edge and door gap inspection in the automotive industry. Another application example is the control of glue in the robotics industry.